I shall ease your pain. This should do. My training's paid off. Dead and buried. Come. Undertaking awaiting your command as you wish. No holding back. Let's get him. Miss Fool. The magical energies of Ervelda surge forth. Now then, Lord Gailey, let us witness this spear you so often boast of. Spare me the orders, witch. These rebel scum shall perish in my wake. Have to focus. Easy now. Are you going to thank me? Sort this out! Don't move. I'm here! I'll heal you. Enjoy this. Should 
don't know. I'll heal you. We've nothing to fear. Yeah. Be done before As you know expected. it. Ever been hit by a hammer? of an angel. I take to the skies. Any who bar my path must perish. Uh -huh. I can help. Are you going to thank me? Sort this out! Don't let me. Is she restored? I believe so, yes. I'm sorry, Eltalinda. I never wanted to hurt you. So, Baltro's spell can be broken, hmm? Who goes there? Show yourself! <clears throat> I'm right here, boy. What is the meaning of this? Master! Yana, it's been years. On your guard, Elaine. I learned everything I know from this woman. The sorceress Alcina. The very person who helped Zenoira conquer our lands. So it was you? <laughs> oh, poor little Elaine. You've come to resemble him so dearly. It's you in there, isn't it? The real you. Not one of Zenoira's puppets. Which means it was you controlling Eldalinda. <laughs> you misunderstand, child. Our magic does not simply make marionettes of its victims. Then what does it do? My sister would never have conspired with Zenoira by her own free will. And why should I answer that exactly? We'll make you answer. <laughs> Sheltering myself in the girl's body took more than its fair share of magic. It seems this is where I make my exit. Farewell for now. But don't worry, Elaine. We'll meet again soon enough. You have my utmost gratitude, Prince. And my humble apologies as well. I have to thank you too, Elaine. 
I'd never have seen Altalinda again if not for your help. I'm just happy to see you both reunited. As for that apology, you needn't blame yourself for what happened. Alcina's magics made you an unwilling captive. There lies no fault in that. Your kindness knows no bounds. And it heartens me to see you safe and sound, Yonisa. I owe my health to Elaine here just as much as you do. All because of a revelation he had that told him to come find you. Me? Indeed. At the urging of a self-named Great Sage within a sanctuary in Cornea. He claimed that in order to defeat Galerius, I must meet with the Turdenos of Elheim and unbind the Ring of the Unicorn. If you know anything about how such a feat may be accomplished, I beg you, tell me. I understand now what you're after. But I fear I lack the knowledge you seek. Though I have laid eyes on some old texts that spoke of your ring. And where can I find such texts? In the Nasthirion, the Tower of Thorns in your language. It houses an archive only I may enter, within which lie histories that predate the founding of our nation, as well as records of arcane rituals and magics. I can recall a treatise regarding the unicorn being mentioned in one such record. The spire stands to the west of this castle, and is a site most sacred to dark elves like me. But unfortunately, it now rests in Zenoiran hands. Then we make for it at once, and reclaim it for the good of Elheim. Provided we're able to do so, would you be willing to grant me access to those texts you mentioned? But of course, Prince. I will aid you however I'm able. Apologies for the interruption, but the sun has nearly made its nest over the horizon. I bid you stay the night. I'll ready your beds. Much appreciated. We'll do just that. Lord Gailey, you're hurt. Allow me to... Silence! Flesh heals, but my reputation never will. Though I'm not entirely out of options yet. <laughs> Just wait, you miserable forest rats. It's time you learn what happens to those who cross me. May fortune bring what you... Thank you. 
fine choice. Do visit again, should the urge strike you.